Hi YouTubers, my name is Eden and in today's video I will explain to you how to unlock bootloader and flash custom ROM on your OnePlus 7T phone. For this process you don't need any custom recovery and everything is done through a fast boot. Before we begin, be advised that you will lose all of your data and your phone will be wiped during this process. I'm not responsible if you damage your device. Unlocking bootloader and flashing custom ROMs can break your phone. Please make a backup of your phone and secure your data. I suppose that you are running on a stock ROM. It doesn't matter which version. As you can see, I'm running latest Android 11 beta. Go to your settings, navigate to about phone, then keep tapping on build number until you unlock developer options. Go back to your settings and navigate to developer options. Turn OEM unlocking. To turn this option on, you will need to confirm your phone lock code if you have it. Press enable and power off your phone. After shutdown, we need to boot into fast boot mode. To do this, press your volume up, volume down and power button together until you got a logo fast boot. Now connect your phone to your PC. After connecting your device to PC, most of the time Windows will not automatically recognize your device. This means you need to install bootloader drivers. In the description of this video you can find download links for the drivers, platform tools with fast boot, payload dumper tool and link to XTA subforum where you can find custom ROMs for OnePlus 7T. In this video I will not describe how to install drivers, you should already know this if you are considering to flash your device. Navigate to your platform tools folder. In the Windows Explorer address bar type cmd to run command prompt. In your command prompt window type fastboot devices to check if your phone is detected properly. After that write next command fastboot oem unlock and press enter. Now on your phone with volume buttons select unlock bootloader and press power button. Now your phone will reboot with the warning that your bootloader is unlocked and after that your phone data will be wiped. After wiping completes your phone will reboot again and boot your current ROM. Bootloader unlocking is finished and your phone is ready for flashing some custom ROMs. You should power off your phone now and boot in fast boot mode again. Leave your device connected to your PC in fast boot mode. In the next step you need to extract your desired custom ROM, in this case I am using Pixel Experience ROM. Copy your payload.bin file to payload dumper tool in folder payload input. Go back and run payload dumper. This takes some time and this tool will unpack your custom ROM and create some new image files in your payload output folder. This window will be closed automatically and you need to copy those output files to your platform tools folder. To be able to flash your custom ROM, you need to boot to fastboot D mode. While you are still in your fastboot mode, open your command prompt again and type fastboot reboot fastboot. Fast 
Now on your phone you will get a screen with language selection and here you don't need to do anything, just leave your device in this mode. Now go back to your PC, right click on the file called flash everything full wipe. Click edit to open it in the notepad. There you can find all the commands needed for our flash process. As you can see we will flash our files from payload dumper output to both of partition slots on our phone, slots A and B. If you need to flash other ROMs which contain for example 5 or 6 image files more than this ROM, like recovery, vendor and so on, you need to edit batch file with your notepad and write additional commands. For example, to flash recovery partition, add fastboot flash recovery underscore a recovery dot image. Add the same for the second slot and so on. Go back to our command prompt and enter the name of our batch file and press enter. Your phone will reboot once more and flashing process will start. Do not touch anything and wait till process completes. In your command prompt window, you should see OK for every command which is successfully executed. If you get message failed, then you did something wrong. You should go back to beginning and check all the steps once more. Flashing process will take some time, that depends on customer size usually takes about 5 to 10 minutes to complete. After flashing process, you can disconnect your phone from PC and press power button to boot to your new ROM. First boot after flashing Pixel Experience ROM takes about 5 minutes, so be patient and wait until you get welcome screen. In this video I will not review Pixel Experience ROM, but if you want to see some ROM reviews, you can write me in the comments. If you think this video was helpful, press like and consider subscribing for more tech videos on my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.